Welcome guys to an episode of NC Bass Master 25. Today I'm doing a review of my truck. Um, this is what I used to go fishing in and everything like that. Um, but I'm trying to restore it now. It's been sitting for about two years. So, um, I'm trying to make sure there's no really bad leaks or breaks or anything like that in the cables or anything. So, I've added a couple parts to it in the last two weeks and stuff. I want to go ahead and do, you know what I'm saying, this right here is just basically my summer project. And hopefully I'll have it done by end of this month or hopefully by September and stuff so I can go ahead and get out and get a lot more fishing in and stuff because my other cars tore up a little bit too because I wrecked it um so right here is a 1990 Ford Ranger XLT standard cab um I've done some body work to it um a couple months ago and stuff it's right here is the Bondo auto body filler from Kmart I think it's like $25 and stuff and all thing you do is just take it mix the red with the white and then make sure it's mixed thoroughly put it on wax paper and then lay it across the wherever you need it at and then it will stick to it and start drying and you just peel the wax paper off and you're good to go and then you sand it down a little bit um this side's gonna be a little trouble as you can see it's already starting to pull away from the car a little bit so i'll probably just take this piece off or put some more over it and stuff and get it sanded down and it's already cracked there a little bit from my niece thought it'd be funny to start poking at it with a baseball bat <laughs> Um, but the back, you know, so you can also tell this is my fishing truck because, you know, so I got the NC North American Fishing Club, uh, lifetime member stickers on the side over there, tackle warehouse sticker, and then a deer sticker, um, decals on the window. This is the bed. It's my temporary net for right now. Um, because I don't have a tailgate. I bought it without a tailgate. Um, I'm missing two bolts in it right now. Um, this one right here at the bottom. And then if you go up here to the top, I'm missing this one right here. And you can tell there's a little rust right here, so I've got to get that fixed first and then get the bolt. But um, the bolts are right at, I think, $29.95 a piece. I'm not for sure the website that you go on to. I think it's like LMC Trucks or something like that. But I'll put the um, website in the description below and stuff. Um, got my spare tire and everything. And then... Um, my mirrors on the outside, they've got to be replaced. Uh, before I bought it, the mirrors that were here, they got broke off, so he just mounted them here. I don't know why he didn't just go back and mount them here, but I'm going to probably get a mirror kit and stuff and take them and put them back onto here and everything. If we go around, get around to the engine and everything, um, it's like I said, it's a 2.9 liter fuel injection. Um, I've already put a brand new master cylinder on here uh, last week um, I had a little trouble with it trying to get it off because these bolts right here were so tight I couldn't even get it out so I had to get like a breaker bar and get them off but I went ahead and put the new master cylinder on here and I had to put new uh, lines on it as well because when I went to unscrew the lines they were rusted and so they actually broke off like right about here so I went and got brand new brake lines um, I think like 7 inches or so from O'Reilly's Auto Parts and stuff with the master cylinder. And I got the Union, I think that's what they're called, the Union thing that you put on there that connects the two together. It's got the little tiny piece in the inside and everything. And then on this one as well, and I actually had to cut the lines all the way down here um, because I was making sure I had a clean cut um, area so I could actually connect them together without having any leaks. Yesterday I went ahead and did the um, complete like changed out the wires and the spark plugs and everything and then today I went ahead and got um, an old brand new oil filter put on here and um, completely did a complete oil change and stuff but pretty simple this right here is something else I want to talk about it's the throttle position it's the throttle then you have on this side right here your throttle position sensor I took this off and cleaned it out and the reason why I cleaned it out was because um, the engine, when I first started it up, after it not been cranked for almost eight, nine months, because it's already been sitting for two years, um, this right here was, I knew it was, I thought it was sticking or something like that, that's what they told me, it probably was sticking on the inside. When I took it off and stuff to make sure, see if it was stuck or if it was broke or anything like that, there was so much build up and stuff up from all, all the fuel and everything like that, um, that the little thing inside of here it's a little flap that opens up so when you press the gas the flap opens release the gas it, it closes um and stuff the flap was not closing all the way and it wasn't opening up all the way because of all the 
the residue and everything like that that was built up and stuff. So I went ahead and cleaned it out and now, you know what I'm saying, it seems to be a little bit better and that right there is a must to keep them cleaned out because you want to keep your engine in really good condition and everything like that and stuff. So your fuel system is very, very important on a truck. And um, I've got to go to the junkyard and stuff. The local junkyard here has got the part for my air, fil air filter and stuff because the lid does not want to fit all the way and the stuff, the bolt right here is broke off of it and stuff. But the oil, the air filter is brand new and stuff. I just put it on there um, last month and stuff. And I'm going to go get another piece off of it. I think they're running around like 6 or $7. So it's not bad. But right here... The battery is a negative cable for the Ford Ranger that I have. Um, I could not just go to O'Reilly's or anything like that to get it. Um, I had to actually order it from Ford. And this big cable right here runs to the starter. These two right here run down into that little box right there. And these right here run, I think it was like $49.95 that I had to pay for that cable alone. And then another $150 for the battery with a five-year warranty. Um, the tires on it real good condition I think they are size 15 and stuff and then I got a little bondo right there and stuff but um the inside is pretty standard um I took the door off earlier and put a pioneer speaker in the door because it was busted and stuff and then when I did the oil change earlier this is the oil that I used it's the Valvoline Max Life next generation um 10w30 high mileage oil this truck right here when I bought it it had a little over it had like I think 222,000 miles on it and stuff so you know what I'm saying it's up there in the mileage and so I wanted to keep um, the engine you know what I'm saying good and everything so I went ahead and put that in there it was highly recommended to me but everything else in the truck is pretty standard you know what I'm saying the standard cassette player and everything radio works got 240,000 plus miles on it so the high mileage oil it's gonna really do uh good with the engine and stuff but i got the mossy oak steering wheel cover um and everything the seats are pretty dirty and stuff but they've been like that since i bought the truck and i've got to get seat covers for it um trying to figure out what seat, what seat covers to actually get i'm thinking of like mossy oak or real tree seat covers but i'm gonna go ahead and start it up so you can hear out sounds and everything i mean it's pretty loud but not really it does, on the outside, one more thing, on the back, it does have dual exhaust on it. You can see right there, and right there, and I got my hunt sticker on there. And then the bumper, it's a little bent, but, you know, a new bumper ain't, but like, I think 75 bucks at the junkyard and stuff. So, let's go ahead and start it up and see how it's going to sound. Gauges, pretty good. And everything and then we get over here and it's making a little racket but and the engine's got a little vibration to it and that's how it sounds when it starts um now the engine does have like I said if you could hear me it does have a little bit of vibration to it and the reason for that is because <laughs> The motor mounts need to be replaced on it. They're a little bit worn and everything, so I'm going to get them replaced probably in the next month or so. But on this side, I've got ball bearings inside the tire that need to be replaced and stuff. I can do that myself. And one thing I want to let y'all know is that for me, I know as for a lot of people, when you have a car, um, you just take it to like a shop or something like that to get it worked on and everything. But for me, I really do the work myself. Unless it's something that has to do with taking the engine out, the transmission, or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? With plugs and wires, I do myself. Master cylinder, I do myself. Alternators, batteries, throttle, starter position sensor, PCV valves, all that, I do myself. Because, you know what I'm saying? I trust myself and I get the job done and everything. But, I just want to go over and show you the truck, which is my summer project and everything. And so, hopefully I can get another video up in a couple of weeks or a month or so. With it all totally fixed up and stuff. So I'm going to probably paint it black. But I'm open to suggestions. So you know what I'm saying? Leave a comment below. 
on what kind of cut what colors I could paint it because I'm not for sure I might just go with straight black but I'm not for sure and also I wanted to put a bed liner in here but I'm not sure like what company to go with I know that Herculiner is pretty good and um, Rust-Oleum I think that's what it's called it's pretty good and stuff so I'll probably go with one of those and stuff but I've also got a toolbox that goes on the back of here and stuff to put all my tools and stuff like that all that junk right there in and everything but another one of my summer projects is is a, it's a purple 1998 Chevrolet Cavalier and yeah it's a little ugly but it's I love driving it because it's fast um it's got a teal hood on it and the name of the car is Tenurple and on this side as you can see there is no fender and no headlight or turn signal assembly in it whatsoever and that is because on June 5th a guy pulled out in front of me and come to a complete stop in the middle of the road and I actually swerved but still took his whole back end off and stuff so I'm waiting to get everything done but we already settled with the car and stuff so this is another one of my projects to get done this this summer and stuff it's actually a, my roommate's car and stuff so she's gonna be worried about it but I mean it's a pretty nice car it's a little dirty on the inside because we do drive it each and every day and stuff but as you can see you know what I'm saying it's got the Sony CD player in there the little zebra print steering wheel cover full back seat there's nothing really wrong with it it does have it does pull to the passenger side a little bit and stuff it's not the alignment's not straight at all and stuff so I've got to take it to make sure to get it checked out to mechanic shop to make sure everything's done on it but those are the two cars that I've got for right now um I'm planning on getting this truck fixed up the 90 Ranger and more than likely probably going to sell it or trade it um I'm actually don't know if I'm actually gonna get rid of it or not I'll probably just keep it because I bought it in 2008 and I bought it for $300 so and I mean and it ran completely fine until I got another car and just was driving another car instead of it and stuff but you know what I'm saying leave a comment below comment like subscribe and just let me know what you think about the color and the bed liner so peace